Hey everybody, this is Mr. V and this is Apes Review Video, topic 9.1 on stratospheric ozone depletion. So we've been mentioning earlier about how uh, ozone is good up high, bad nearby. This is why. Okay, this is the main idea. So ozone has helped evolution of life on this planet uh, occur, and it protects us from certain UV rays. So if you take a look at the diagram here, the ozone in the stratosphere protects us from UVC rays. It only allows a certain amount of the UVB to pass through and the UVA gets through normally. So those can cause um, typical um, sunburn and skin cancer, but UVC can be much more um, active in doing those things. So this allows for the continued survival of this, uh, of, of this planet with that ozone layer. So the way it works is we had some anthropogenic sources that created these things called chlorofluorocarbons, right? So these are refrigerants and propellants. They were used in Freon, um, and they were used to help spray cans kind of propel their uh, stuff out of there. And so there are, of course, natural sources of CFCs, like ice crystals um, and in, in Antarctic Spring and stuff like that. But those sources would get up into the stratosphere and cause a lot of damage. So here's what they would do. Um, they would end up, uh, the chlorine would end up breaking apart the ozone and it would tear apart that O3 bond and it would continue to tear it and this can lead to other problems you can have skin cancer in humans cataracts um, plants uh, can be damaged on their tissues and of course um, the algae survival uh, was what we noticed quite a bit of it and so here's some other resources on that so you can learn more um, hopefully those will be helpful and hopefully this was helpful thank you